Hey developers, today we're going to look at ViewPress. It's the new Vue.js static site generator created by the people who brought you Vue.js. So this is really Markdown specific. And what I mean by that, this, this tool is really great for creating documentation for an existing project or a new project. So it's really easy to get up and running and it has some really cool defaults and a default layout and theme that makes it really easy to get started. My name is Eric Hanchett. So I have been writing Vue.js topics for the last uh, last year. I actually wrote the Vue.js in action book. So if you guys are interested in Vue.js, please check out the link below. I actually have a really cool cheat sheet that I'm giving away for absolutely for free. So if you just click in the description, just click on that link and you can get the free cheat sheet so you guys can uh, be up and running. So let's take a look at this ViewPress. Uh, please stay all the way to the end. I think you guys will learn a lot. We're going to really go over uh, the basics, we're going to take a tour of ViewPress, View Press, and I'm also going to write a little bit here in our editor. Uh, so like I said, you can go to viewpress.viewjs.org to kind of check it out. And to get it installed, it's really easy. You can use Yarn or NPM, NPM install, tac g ViewPress. I already did it, so I'm not going to do it again, but that's how you do it. Uh, then once you get it running, uh, really all you need to do is just begin. So let's create a brand new file. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create the file real quickly. Actually, before we do that, let's just do view press dev and that'll start a development server. And we don't have anything in there yet, but let's try it out. Here's my Visual Studio code. So I'm going to look inside my editor. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to file, new file and we're just going to go type in hello world and I'm going to call this readme.md and if we look back here it actually starts a local dev server on 8080 and here is our hello world so not too much going on here but this is just the beginning so here's our hello world um, we actually have the full power of markdown here so if I go back and show you here, so you can see this web server is running in the background. There's a few other things you can do with ViewPress. If you do dash dash help, you can see you can also build it. So this is how you actually generate the static site. You would just do ViewPress, ViewPress build, and that would create the static site. You can just do, uh, you can do ViewPress dev, and that starts the development server like we just did. And you can do ViewPress eject, and that's a way to kind of take the default layout and extract it all and inject it into its own folder so that you can start doing editing. But you can also customize it too. So we'll explore that. So I'm going to go back and run ViewPress dev again. And it's going to run. And here it is. So, and of course, like I said, uh, we have all the full information about Markdown. If you don't know Markdown, I'll include a link to the cheat sheet here. So you can do different headers, H2 tags. Uh, we can do links to um, link somewhere and we can just put in I don't know yahoo.com and you can see here here's my link somewhere here's my h2 tag more text um, so really not too much happening here but you can see you can kind of use markdown just to create this and then you can build it but let's get into a little bit more now we have this readme folder so we can create a new folder, and this is all in the documentation, by the way. All right, let's go and open this up again, and we'll just go ahead and create a new folder. So we'll go and make directory, and we'll call it, you have to call it this dot viewpress, and we'll go ahead and start the server again. And now we can see here in our editor, we have this new viewpress, and we can create a file in here, and we'll create config.js. And then inside this config file, we need to do module.exports equal, and we can give it a title. And there's a bunch of things we can add in here, but we'll just say, we'll call it my documentation. And we'll give it a description, um, document information for site. Now, if I save that, you can see already we have more information in here. Okay, we see this documentation here at the top. We have a search bar, so we can search different uh, headers that we've created through our markdown. And we also have this little uh, hamburger menu. You can also see what we have in here. 
So let's go ahead, we have this view press directory, but let's create a new folder here. And we can actually kind of break down our different parts of documentation we want. So let's say we had guides. And inside guide, let's create a note folder. Let's say we have info. So inside guides, we can create our own file. So we can create another readme file. So we'll call it readme.md. And then we're gonna call this my guides. And we can do like an H2, like other info. And then in info here, we're gonna have another file. We'll call it readme.md. And then we'll have, uh, this is important information, more information. And then we can have like a second file in here. We can, I don't know, we can call it this info.md. And we can have this HTML files, but we'll keep it MD files. Um, this, this info. So now we can look at our drop down here. We have our guides, info, we have this info, um, we have this. So now we have definitely more information in here and we can kind of go in and, and change information that we want. Um, one thing we can do is it actually supports, if you go inside here and look at the config reference and actually look at the guide, uh, there is ways you can do uh, YAML at the top. Uh, so there is more uh, theme configuration, this this uh, dot, dot, dot. So we can do things like this. Instead of having it named my guides, I put dot, 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 or dash, 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 excuse me. And then I can put in the uh, title that I want. So in this case, let's say, um, I can put in title, um, my guides. And if I do that and I refresh it, you see now it says my guides there. I can do the same thing for info. Dash, 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 my information, title, my information, and then three more dashes. Now you can see it's all kind of looks a little nicer. Uh, so let's go back to our config though. If we go back to ViewPress config file, uh, we have some more options here that we can do, which is kind of nice. So we do have this thing called theme uh, config. Theme config. Let me sharp our comma here. And this theme config, uh, we can add a nav bar. So let's say we have our first thing is text, we'll call it home. And we'll put a link in there and we'll put just there. And let's say we have a couple more. And the second one we're gonna call guides and that'll be slash guides. And the third one will be info, info. And we'll do info. And let's see here, we have a typo. Uh, sorry, we need to, this is actually an array. So now we have this uh, sidebar here. You can see um, on smaller screens, it'll put on, on the side, but if here we have guide info. You can also see the default configuration has these little links to the side. So you have the navigation at the bottom to go through it, uh, which is kind of nice. So we can also do something like this. We can on top of theme config, we can add a sidebar. And in the sidebar, we can also put information. So we'll put in guides and we'll put in info. So now if we go back and we check it out, we look here. So now we have this on the right hand side, we have the guides, we, we have this navigation bar. We can also go home, here it is here to kind of navigate around. So you can do a lot of stuff with the navigation, which is kind of nice to kind of uh, make it the way you want it to, to make it. Uh, a few other things you could do, uh, you can actually create a whole components folder. So speaking of view, uh, Vue.js, so we can create a components folder and then inside a components folder, we can create dot view files, which is really cool. So let's create one called my, my comp dot view. 
So we have our view component here. We can do, uh, I just have a quick snippet here for our, our .view file. So we can put in some here. This is a uh, view. Uh, I'll put I'll put dot view file here, and we'll save it. And now inside our readme files, like for example the main readme file, I can just go ahead and put that in there. So I'll do my comp, my comp. I'll save it, and I'll go back to the main page. Now I have to. Fortunately, when I add components, I have to stop and restart the server. So I'll stop it, I'll restart it. And then once it's running again, I'll run it. You can see here more text is there. So I can go back to my comp. Uh, you see your dot view file, it's there, so that's good. So let's say, you know, I can create my data object. I return a message. You know, hello world. And I can put my instead of putting this h dot view file here, I can do my message. So I get the full power of Vue.js by using these uh, components inside my README files, and I still have all the power that I wanted to do. So this is just a, a, a few quick examples. You can see this is pretty powerful here. I was able to add a sidebar, a top navigation bar. I was able to create a bunch of pages. Um, uh, yeah, it's really simple. I was using a dot view components. I mean, we didn't even touch the surface. You could also, like right inside a readme file, like I could do uh, here, ul, forgot I can't. Use Emmet here. It's not an HTML file, but then I can. Well, even better, I could. Uh, I could do a v4 directive here and do one. You know, n in 500, and then put in n right here of something I want. And if I save that, go back to the main. You can see now I have 500. In here, so now I have uh, the full capabilities of Vue.js inside here, and inside this documentation creator. So it's really cool. So uh, if you guys like this video, let me know below. If you want me to make more, I can get more in depth. There's definitely tons of configuration you can do inside here. I just I just touched on a few of it, a few things uh, to create this. But if you guys are interested, let me know. And also make sure you click that like button and that subscribe button. If you really like it, click that bell button. That really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.